What was your VO2 max? 49.7, I think. Really? That's yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, and again, it was using a bike. So he said, you don't typically train on a bike. I don't know if it's true. This is what Alex said to me. He's like, your VO2 max is probably like 53, 54. But... 49 on a bike is like really good because you don't do it unless you're like, again, mainly training on the bikes. I pushed myself hard. Like, I mean, you and I know that when I did it the first time here, I was like, oh, I could have kept going. I pushed myself pretty close. My max or my heart rate got up to 184 and they had like a full chest monitor. They had leads on me, did the full thing. So I haven't seen the actual data yet. Okay, so you're 54, right? Yeah. So your theoretical heart rate max is 166. You got 184. That's an 18 difference. That's huge. Yeah. I mean, I know this isn't accurate, but one way I think about it is like your heart could be 18 years younger than what is hypothetically assumed. I actually was pretty surprised that I performed that well on the VO2 max, partly because I haven't really been training for VO2 max at all. Although just within the last month or so, I have started trying once a week to do stairs again. And so that's actually felt really good. I didn't expect to do that well, especially with all the traveling and, and everything. But yeah, I was pleased by that. I mean, I'm 34. I did a VO2 max and got 49.0. So that's why I'm a little annoyed because you beat me, but. <laughs> there's still time yeah, and yeah. i guarantee you there will come a time when you will get ahead of me as i continue to age uh, well, i guess i shouldn't guarantee you maybe not maybe, maybe i'll not. just keep going right 